Hello everybody! Welcome to our coding class number eight. Uh, and today we're going to be coding a basketball game. So what we're going to be doing is learning messages. So we're going to learn how to send messages from one object or one character to another one. And we're going to do that through throwing a basketball. Um, I think it's there, basketball. Uh, as you do it in a game. So we're going to have somebody dribbling the ball and then he's gonna pass it to the other person when you tap on him, and then he's gonna pass it back, okay? And we're gonna be able to do that in coding, okay? As always, if this is your first time here, don't worry, you can perfectly well follow this class. You don't have to watch all seven of them to do this. If you're coming back, thank you so much for coming back. I hope you like these classes. Uh, and with that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by looking at the blocks that we're going to use, okay? So. If it's, um, if you're returning a lot of these blocks, you will already know. If it's your first time, well, when we get into the coding, you'll see what they're for even better than here, but I tend to explain it before. So we're going to use a couple of start blocks. One is this start on tap. So you see the person with the hand. So this means when you touch the object, so in this case, the person that's there on the, the screen, he's going to start doing something. So this is the start of a line of code. Okay. We have the start, oops, this is upside down. What, what, a lot of them are upside down. So this is the start on green. So this means when you start the program, it does this, okay? Uh, so um, it's also the start of a line of code and it's also yellow blocks. And now we're gonna get into something which we did in one class, but we didn't really get into depth. So today we're gonna do more of this, okay? These are <clears throat> start on message blocks, okay? So you'll see they have different colors, which means different messages can go through the program. So what it means is <clears throat> when some other line of code sends a green message, wherever you put this block will start doing what's ever after it. So this will be a line of code after here, okay? You can put movement, you can put whatever you want. And how does it receive a message? With this block. So whenever you're running a line of code, so for example, you have move up, move down, and then this block. This is the send message block, and this one will send a green message. So whoever has a block like this one, which is start on message, will start doing whatever comes here. It'll be easier when we start coding it, okay? But you see, you have green, and you also have red, okay? so. What happens is, if you send the red message, for example, the green start on message won't start because it's not green, it's red. Only the red start on message will start, okay? And that's how we make different messages going to different people in the program, okay? So we're going to use two different colors today, red and green. We're going to use the play recorded sound block. So these are the green blocks, which are our sound blocks. Uh, and we're going to record a message, and then it's going to play back using this block. We're going to use quite a lot of movement blocks. So we're going to use four movement blocks. So up and down. So whenever we pass through these blocks, it moves one up because it has a one there. It can move one, da one oops, left because it has one there and it has the arrow left. It can go one down if we're using the down block, and it can go one right if we're using the move right block. We're going to use all of these in our program as well. And then finally, we have the end blocks. One which is red without arrows, which means that that line of code will stop here and it won't do anything else. And we have the one with repeat forever or loop. So this is the one that when we're executing a line of code, it will reach this and then start that line of code of code again, as many times as the program is running or something else stops it. Okay, so now that we've seen the blocks that we're going to use, let's start coding. So let me open my iPad. Let me start by recording the screen so you guys can see it. So three, two, one, and we are recording. So you should see it now. We're gonna start Scratch Junior on, if you don't have an iPad, you can have it on your computer or your Android tablet. On the first screen, we're going to press this house. 
You see this little black dot that you see moving around there? That's an easy way for you to follow where I'm pressing and what I'm doing. So press on the house and we're going to start a new project. So we use this rectangle here on the top left with the plus sign to start a new project. If you don't have all the projects that I do, don't worry, it's because I've been coding quite a lot. So you might have an empty screen without any projects or you might have different ones. Press on that plus sign and every time we create a project, you see Scratch Jr. there. He's the, the mascot of Scratch, um, of Scratch Jr., the coding program. So we are going to put our finger on him, long finger, so keep your finger there until he starts to wiggle and have a red cross. If you don't get it right the first time, take your finger out and put it back on. Press that red cross so that we take him out. We don't need him for this coding that we're about to do. And let's start by putting ourselves in a basketball court. The way we do that is we go to the top and we have the blue and the green, like in this rectangle. We press on that and we scroll down. So we take our finger and we just swipe it up until we reach the bottom. If you don't have all those backgrounds that I have, um, don't worry, you probably will have the default ones, which are these. So you see that there's a basketball court. So we have like the stage, we have the bedroom, we have under here forest, and then we have this basketball court here, or they call it the gym. We're gonna press on that one with our finger, and then we're gonna press on the tick box. And we should have the basketball court in the middle of our screen now, so that we can start adding our um, people that are going to play basketball. So let's go to the left, under Scratch Jr. and the house, and we're gonna press the plus sign. This is how we add characters. So we're going to add two people. So we take our finger, we scroll down, and we keep scrolling down, so just like put it on the screen and scroll up, not down. Put your, press your finger up so you scroll down. Oops, that was a mistake. And if you do a mistake, press the character on the left with your finger, keep it pressed, and then press that red cross so that you take them out. Sorry, I made a mistake. So we're gonna press that plus sign and we are going to scroll all the way down. And we're gonna keep scrolling until we reach people, okay? So we are going to choose two people. So one, uh, I'll probably choose uh, the boy with the red shirt. Uh, so you see the boy with the red shirt or you can use the other one red. We're gonna make them red just to simplify the messaging, okay? So choose anybody with a red shirt. I'm gonna choose that boy, and when you choose him, you press the tick box, okay? And we should have a boy there. We're gonna press our finger on the boy and drag him to the left. If you leave your finger on him for a while, you'll see that he wiggles. If you wanna take it out, just press anywhere on the screen and he will stop wiggling. We're going to go to the left and press on that plus sign again. So under the, the boy that you added, we're gonna press on the plus sign and we're gonna scroll down again. And we're gonna choose this person with the green shirt, but no face, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our face on him. So the way we do that is make sure he's selected and then go up here to the paintbrush. You see the paintbrush next to the tick box? Press on that paintbrush. And now on the right, you see that from the bottom you have a bucket and then a camera. We're gonna press on the camera and we're gonna press your finger right in the middle of the face, right there in the middle. And we're gonna point the camera at our face, make a big smile, and press picture. There you go. Okay? And when we're done that, we're gonna press on the tick box so that we have ourselves with a face with our ourselves as a person in the coding. So, and we're gonna put our finger on him and drag him a little bit to the right, okay? And now we're going to add our last object, which is the ball. So we go again to the left, under the two children, or the two kids, and the plus sign that's there, we press on it. And again, we're going to swipe with our finger, so use your finger to swipe all the way down so that you can't go any further. And you'll see that you have a birthday cake, a pink ball, and a basketball. We're gonna press on the basketball and press on the tick box. Okay? Cool. And now we're going to drag that basketball next to the first person. Okay? Cool. So now, when you're playing basketball, what do you do? You dribble. 
okay? So we're gonna start by coding the ball dribbling. So let's go here and you see the ball. So the ball should be inside a yellow box and you should have the ball down here, okay? We're gonna start by putting a yellow block and the green flag one. So this means when you start the program, he's gonna start doing this line of code. And this is going to be the dribble code. So we're gonna drag that yellow block with the green flag down and we're going to go to our movement blocks. Now, we're going to go down and up. Because he's already up, we start with down and then we go up. So drag the down block down. And just, if we only do this, he's only gonna go down once. So it's not a real dribble. We need him to go down to the floor, okay? So we're going to press on that one and we're going to change it to two. Okay, so he goes down two, and now we're going to make him go up two. So we go to the move up block, drag it down, press on the one, and press on the two in that little calculator that appears. Okay? And now, how do we get this to repeat forever? So we have the ball going down and up. We're going to go to the red blocks, and that loop block, or that repeat block, we're going to drag that one down. Okay? And now let's give it a test run. So go up here to the green flag, press on it, and you should see that your ball is dribbling. And it's gonna dribble for as long as the program is running. Cool? So we're gonna press stop. So that's the red button on the top. We're going to press reset, which is this blue one with the arrow that puts everything back to how it's supposed to be in the beginning. And now we're gonna start coding the passes. So when the boy in red passes to the myself in green. He has to pass to the right, okay? So we're going to do um, the start on message, okay? For now, we're going to code what happens when the ball receives a message. Then we're going to code the people actually sending the message, okay? But we're going to start with this one. So we're going to drag down that open envelope. So you see the open envelope here? on the yellow blocks, so yellow blocks, open envelope, not the closed one. It's a start block. So what this says is when you receive a message, start doing this. We're gonna make it um, green because we're passing it to the green person. It's just an easy way for us to remember. It could be any color. So you see that if you press the triangle under it, you have all these colors. We're gonna choose green, okay? And we're gonna say, when we touch on the red person, he's going to pass the ball to the green person. So he's going to have to move the ball from here to there. And the way we see how much we have to move the ball is by going up here to the rectangle with all the little rectangles. So you see up here, we're going to press on that one. And currently the ball is on um, row column on on column four and we need him to get to more or less column 15 so you see the numbers here on the bottom he's currently at four which is that blue dot and we need him to go more or less to 15 which is where this person is so 15 minus four is do you know 11. so we're going to go to the blue blocks we're going to tell the ball to move to the right so that's this one here Move to the right, drag that one down. And we need, it was how many times? 11. So press on the one and press one, one, 11, okay? If the numbers are different in yours, just make the same calculation. So if, for example, he's at five and he has to reach 15, it's 15 minus five, so you need a 10 now, okay? And when he's arrived there, he doesn't have to do anything else. So we're gonna go to the red blocks and we're going to use the red block without the arrows, okay? So what happens? When the ball receives a, me a green message, he's going to go 11 steps to the right, so he arrives at this person, and then he's gonna stop again. And you'll see that while this is all happening, this line of code keeps going. So the one with the green flag does not stop. So even when he's moving, he's gonna go up and down. We'll see that when we execute it. And now what happens? We're gonna want the green person to 
send the ball back to the red person. So we're going to go to the yellow blocks. We're going to do again the open envelope. So the one, it isn't the closed one, it's the one that has the, the kind of rounded figure and open envelopes. And we're going to press on the triangle and press on the red color, okay? So it's a different message. And we're going to tell him to do 11 steps back. So if the ball is here, he has to go 11 steps back. So we go to the blue movement blocks. We go to the move left. We press on the one under it and we press on 11. So exactly the same number that you put up there, you're going to put here. So you go to exactly the same places. And we're going to go to the red block, red blocks to end that line of code and drag down the one without any arrows. Okay. So basically what the ball has now is when the program starts dribble and never stop dribbling. If you get a green message, move 11 steps to the right. And if you get a red message, move 11 steps to the left. Cool. Okay. So now where are we going to send these messages? So we're going to do that on each of the, the people that are here. So we're going to start with the red, um, the person with the red, shirt. So we're going to press up here on the left and we're going to make sure that the person with the red shirt has that yellow box around him. And what we're going to do is we're going to do yellow, yellow blocks to start, the one with the tap. So you see the tap? This means when you touch him, he's going to say something and pass the ball. So to say something, we're going to go to the green blocks, to the microphone, and we're going to record, I'm sending you the ball. So go here to the red and say, I'm sending you the ball. And then to the tick box, I'm sending you the ball and tick box. I'll let you guys do that. So press the red button. I'm sending you the ball and tick box. Cool. When you have this microphone up here, drag that microphone down. And now that he says that he's sending the ball, we're actually going to get him to send the ball. And the way he does that is send a message. Okay. So we're going to go to the yellow blocks. We're going to go to the closed envelope here. We're going to drag that closed envelope down. We're going to press on the triangle under it. And remember that we said that if it was green, it was to send it to the green person. So we're going to make sure that we send a green message, not the red one, the green one so that the ball receives the green message and he starts moving, okay? And now he doesn't have to do anything else. So we go to the red blocks to close that line of code and we use the one without the arrows. Okay, cool. To recap, what happens here? You, pr you while the program is running, are gonna touch the person. He's gonna say, I'm sending you the ball. He's gonna send a message to the ball that tells the ball to start moving and then he's not gonna do anything else, cool? So now we're just missing it for the other person. So press on the green, uh, the person with the green t-shirt and make sure that he has this yellow box around him, okay? And we're gonna code exactly the same thing that we did with the red. So we're gonna drag down that start on touch so that when you touch him, he starts executing or running this line of code, not executing. Uh, we're going to go to the green blocks and record our voice. Go to the green, the person with the green uh, t-shirt up here on the left. So press on him. Make sure that he has, or she, um, this yellow box around him. So this should be the one that has your, your face on it. And we're going to code exactly the same thing that we did with the red. So we're going to press yellow blocks, the start blocks. We're going to drag down this one that says tap on me or, or touch to start. So it means that when you touch the person with the green t-shirt, he's going to start executing this line of code. We're going to go to the sound blocks. We're going to press on the microphone and record our voice. So press on the microphone. We're going to press red and say, I'm passing the ball back. And then the tick box. I'm passing the ball back and the tick box. I'll let you guys do it. And now that microphone that appears, drag that one down, okay? 
Now that he said he's going to pass it back, we have to tell the ball to move. So we're going to go to the yellow blocks and we're going to go to the one with the closed envelope. Okay? So this sends a message to whoever will receive that color. Um, so in this case, we're going to press a triangle and we're going to press on red because that's what we told the ball to do. If it receives a red message, it goes that way. So it sends the message and we don't need him to do anything else. So we go to the red blocks and we end that line of code. So drag down that red block without arrows. Okay? So to recap all this, we have two people. When we press on a person, it says, I'm going to send a ball or I'm going to send it back. It sends a message to the ball. The ball receives the message and it starts moving. Okay? We give it a test run. So we're going to do it full screen. So press here on the top, this rectangle with the, the, the corner, the lines in the corner to go to full screen and press, put your volume up and press the green flag. Your ball should start dribbling. And now if you take your finger and you press it on the person in red, I'm, I'm sending you the ball. The ball goes to the other person. And now if you press the person in green, I'm passing the ball back. He sends the ball back. Isn't that cool? So guys, congratulations on coding your basketball game. Uh, hopefully you can take this to another level so you can use what you just learned and make something different with it. Uh, if you really like these coding classes, don't forget to press, I think it's this button here to subscribe. Uh, the next coding class should also appear here somewhere on the screen. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in our next coding class, okay? Bye, everybody. Have a great day.